Hey, this is Taylor from KP Foam Strike, and today I'm going to teach you how to brass a Nexus Pro. Let's check it out. All right, so for this mod, you're going to need yourself one of the Nexus Pros, and then we're going to go ahead and take all the screws out and easily just pop everything off the shell. In the back there, you kind of have to pop two clips, but it's not too bad, but once you get that off, everything comes out easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the two grips, and then we are going to take a look inside of here. So here's your spring. And we're going to be needing that, but we'll set it aside. And let's check out this catch real quick. And just for me pulling it out right here for the first time and taking a look, like this is some really nice, strong, tough plastic. So it should hold up. Then we're going to take out our plunger and uh, just take a look at it. And then right here, this is the spring rest cap. So that's important. So whenever you're putting this back together, don't forget to put that piece back on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at how this thing works right here. So it just slides over this bar, but in order to get the mod started, we need to take off that front piece cap. And then this uh, barrel right here, it easily slides out. So it's just a nice aluminum type of barrel, but the dart fit on it isn't the greatest. So you don't really get as good of an air seal as you do from this brass. And from holding it up against this one foot of brass, you can see this is probably six inches and the diameter on that is much bigger. So yeah. Dart fit, not the greatest on the aluminum, but we're gonna fix that. And for this build, it's optional, but I really recommend it. We're gonna be printing out a 3D printed spring spacer. So what this is gonna do is, it's gonna give us uh, additional compression to that spring, just from the stock spring. And as you'll see later on in the video from the FPS, it's, uh, it's quite the amazing little piece. So if you can't print one yourself, you know, you can go to your local library. Usually they'll have a 3D printer and it's not too bad. It's such a small piece that uh, it won't cost you too much. But yeah, you can just plug it on right here. And then uh, we're going to be putting the spring over the remaining piece. And as you can see, it really adds uh, quite a bit of compression. So you get even more power out of your spring without having to upgrade the spring. So that's a nice little piece. Check the description for a link to the Thingiverse for that piece. So yeah, here we got the 17 30 seconds brass. And we're going to be using the whole foot of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel it out right here. And an important part of using brass, especially from this type of packaging, is once you get it off, there's uh, there's still going to be some residue from potentially tape and the actual plastic wrap. So it's a good idea to look down the barrel and make sure nothing is going to interfere or that there's plastic stuck inside of that. So check that out. It's looking good. And we're just going to go ahead and get rid of our trash over here. All right. So additionally, we're going to need some of this plumber's tape. Now, this stuff can be found at just about any hardware store. And it's usually a dollar or less, so not too bad. And you're going to need some good old electrical tape. All right, now that we got all of our materials and we got this thing apart, we got to just take out one more screw real quick. So right here on the part where the dart gets loaded, it has one screw still attached to the plastic of the blaster. And once we get that out, this is what we're going to actually be plugging our brass barrel into. So as you see, it doesn't fit at all currently. There's no tight fit at all. So what we're going to be doing is taking this electrical tape and we're going to be making a nice buffer so that it can plug in and stay nice and solid into that piece. So I counted and I did around 10 to 11 full rotational wraps, but depending on the thickness of your tape, you're just going to keep doing it until it fits nice and snug just like this. So yeah, we're taking a look down the barrel and we're making sure it's all lined up because you still need the dart to be exactly centered and it'll load into the barrel much easier so yeah just make sure you you keep an eye on that when you're plugging it in make sure everything's still lined up centered and you still you really need to have a, a snug fit so play around with the tape you know it's not too expensive so if you have to cut off some throw it away or if you have to keep using a little bit more you know the more the merrier until you know you can't plug it in basically so the next step after we've got that on there we're going to take some of that plumber's tape and this is going to help create an even better air seal so you can just put it around there and make sure that you seal up all that crack just in case some air wants to leak out. And then if you want to, I didn't end up doing this in the video, but later on I went back and you can put even more electrical tape around the plumber's tape to get an even better seal. So I would recommend that after putting the plumber's tape, you can seal up the crack even more by putting more electrical tape. All right, so we got the brass barrel plugged in perfectly. The next step is we're going to need to make a mark as to where that cap plugs in. So the way this works is the actual priming bar with the grip, uh, it slides back and forth over the barrel. 
So we're going to need to plug it in. And then what I did was I made a mark using just a, a tiny piece of electrical tape so that I know exactly where the orange cap needs to fit. And then we're going to have to push the cap all the way down the barrel, take out the assembly again, and then we're going to need to do some more electrical tape wrapping because otherwise the barrel will not stay centered and it'll just be wobbling around and that can cause a lot of problems. So I got my electrical tape here and I'm just going to start wrapping it around the spot that I marked. And once that's all done, you can easily slide that cap after you've wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. All right. And depending on the thickness of your tape, I got about... I think 12, it was either between 12 and 15 wraps, but as you can see, you want it to have a nice snug fit. So same as, you know, when you're putting it into the, the barrel on top of the dart guide, you're going to do the same method where you just keep adding tape until it doesn't fit properly, but you want a nice, nice snug fit. And now that it's all nice and snug, we can go ahead and start putting this all back together. It's pretty simple, but yeah, you're going to make sure that this piece is going to plug in right here. And then we got some barrel exposed. So yeah, right here, remember to only put in one screw when you're doing this. We're going to go ahead and put our catch back in real quick. All right, so we got that. And then the next piece is one of the most important. We need that spring catch rest type of thing to go back in so that the spring can rest in it and it won't break your blaster. Then I'm going to go ahead and put in that one screw that I was talking about. But yeah, make sure that you don't put in that other because as you can see right here, that screw goes right through the shell into that hole. So that's how that stays in nice and tight. So yeah, we just need that one and done. That's it. All right, so here we are all buttoned up. We got all the screws back in, and it's just that simple. It's really easy to brass this thing. So another thing I'm going to do is I'm still going to take this barrel and I'm going to plug it in for safety reasons because it lets you still have an orange tip as well as it covers that brass in case you, you know, tripped or hurt somebody. Like, that wouldn't be good. We don't want the brass going through nobody. So here we got our spring. We just slide that right back in. And then if you're using the spacer, you can keep that on, but you can just easily slide that in. But first, I'm going to take it off because for FPS reasons, I want to find out what we're hitting without it. So you just can stick that back on. If you want, you can put this screw back in. But if you want to easily do it without and change out springs and whatnot, you don't even have to put it in because it slides on so easily. So yeah, here we go. We got the blaster all finished. Let's check out some numbers on the chronograph. So for all my testing, I'm going to be using the official Adventure Force short darts that you can get at Walmart, the 100 pack for 10 bucks, and I'm just going to be using the included 12 round magazine. All right, so for a stock off-the-shelf blaster, the average was 145. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our spacer and pop it into a stock blaster. And wow, look at this. Like, so if you don't even want a mod with the, the brass barrel and you just wanna get a spacer, like, I can't believe this thing's already hitting in the 170s. 179, 177. So yeah, the, the spring spacer with the compression it adds, that's really, really good. It an average of 176. So now we're checking out the brass barrel modded blaster and this one is just using the stock spring and no spacer in it and we're already getting some better performance at least consistency wise compared to just using the stock uh, aluminum barrel there is a 135 in there but let's check out the average that we got so our average is 150 so it went up which is really nice we're gonna go ahead and pop that spacer in now and this is where it gets exciting look at that shot 208 196 202 188, 205, 210, 202, 205, 200, 195, 202, and uh, yeah, 129. So what happened there is the dart hit, but even with that, average was 195. So that 129, that was definitely an outlier. I want to just shoot one more through here and look at that, 205. So honestly, the average for this is 200, and that's amazing. So now we're going to check out one of these turf blaster springs. I believe it's a 12 kilogram spring. And here it is in the blaster without a spacer. And we're getting some really nice performance. That That's just an error right there, the 999. But yeah, here we go. 189, 195, 225, 211, 210, 222, 240, 214, and 202. 
So yeah, our average for this one was 213, but it was really inconsistent. All right, so for this one, I put the spacer in with that turf spring and it is impossible to prime. So we're only gonna get one shot because there's no way you could ever prime this consistently if you're actually playing. Yeah, 250, that's, that's pretty crazy. But I can't even get this thing to, ah, it's so hard. I had to actually push it down on the ground. There, got it on the ground once. Let's try one more. Yeah, so not really worth it. Wouldn't recommend putting the spacer in if you're using a turf spring. All right, so for the test, we're gonna use the Adventure Force darts, the short ones that you could just pick up, you know, a hundred pack for 10 bucks. And we're gonna be firing with the included magazine with a stock blaster, and then we're gonna see how the actual brass performs. So yeah, let's go check it out. All right, so I'm gonna walk this out to 100 feet, and the fun fact is a parking spot regulation is 10 feet, so I'm just gonna go, this starts at zero, so here we go. We got 10, we got 20, and so on and so on. So here's 100 feet all the way down there. And we're gonna start with the stock with a spacer added. All right. Oh, got the car. Under the car. Hit the car window. So the car window is acting as uh, somebody's head. That would have been a headshot. And another car shot. We'll do six. Ooh, all right. So that's six shots on that one. I'm just gonna switch the mag. So this one is stock with just the added spacer. So it's hitting about 175. Here we got the brass. Six shots coming in hot with a brass. Oh, wow. That's in there. Second shot. Another one. So yeah, you don't even need a scar barrel with this thing. You're hitting two FPS, 200 FPS. That's another shot. Am I out? Yeah, so we hit the target three times. Six shots. That's pretty impressive. And check out this air seal. That's pretty good. And this doesn't even have an air seal. So yeah, I'm I'm just gonna call it right there. 100 feet and straight dinger with uh, some brass. Like, that's ridiculous. So yeah, definitely I would recommend doing this mod. I mean, $4 of brass and you honestly don't even need a scar barrel. Like, let's look in here. There, there should be a two, yeah. Two direct hits that got in there and then this one like bounced off and i am super happy with that so yeah if you get yourself a nexus pro and you're just looking for a quick mod to hit 200 fps this is stock spring with a 3d printed spacer and a foot of brass like you can't go wrong with that that's amazing and then if you even want to knock it down you can keep the brass in here you take the spacer off and then you're hitting 150 to 160 so this thing is amazing such a good value highly recommend thanks for watching subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one